Hey guys, I've been out here working on the Woods Walk range and I think it's time to give you all an update. It's coming along quite nicely. I touched on this in my other video. Here is the shooting house and you'll enter the Woods Walk over here. And obviously this is a private closed range on private property. Backstops have been taken into account and safety is a top priority. I've got a target installed over there, right on the other side of the creek. You'll shoot between these two trees. Thought that might be kind of neat. You can also engage that same target from right here. Coming along. Got the trail progressing up here. Another target that you'll engage from here. coming up the hill. This woods walk is following a small creek and I'm using that to my advantage for a backstop. I'm gonna put some form of targets over here. Just have to get those installed and may have to purchase some more. All right, then we come to this small road cut that has a berm. And I talked about this in my other video. I'll be able to engage targets over there on the pistol range. Might have to cut a couple trees down. I think I'll put a few right down there at the bottom of the uh, cut right there and from there you progress up that little slope thankfully I didn't use run into many rocks but when I did I used them along the side of the trail just to burn, build up low spots all this was cut by hand and I'll give a demonstration of that at the end of the video on how to do this So coming along, gonna have more targets down along the creek, up on the side of the bank. I think this is gonna be a whole lot of fun. Right down here, it gets real steep down there at the creek. And I thought that'd be a great spot to put a few smaller size targets. Change direction right here, head straight for the creek. Just do some moving head-on shots would be really neat right there. All right, then you come down here. This is about the te steepest slopes. It's not really all that bad. And I leveled out the uh, ground quite a bit. Here's a bridge for crossing the creek. I'm going to put a couple non-slip things on here just in ensure that uh, that I have a firm footing. Looking down the creek and I can get some targets down that way safely. All right, then we'll cut up the side slope here. This is on the other side, so we're going back in the direction we came. And again, this is gonna be closed. All right, this is the one section that I have to come back and do. It's gonna be a little bit tricky right along this edge. It's really thick, there's lots of roots. So I kind of bypass this to try and get more done on the other section. I'm following a deer trail. I think I mentioned that. Right here is a drainage. I don't know if you can see that, how steep that is, but the water comes down from up the, up the mountain here. And I'm going to, I think, build 
a small bridge there. Here's some uh, rocks that I piled up in case I need them. Keep coming along. This is a tree that I ended up, it was a dead tree, cut it up. Probably carry that out for firewood. All right, then here is where I started cutting the trail again. Yeah, this is new. Toss those off. All right, I placed a target straight ahead here small little mini ipsic target i think that'll be fun and i really love the way this trail just follows the contours of the land the animals seem to know the best spots to walk this is another small drainage but i was able to get it pretty level and I don't think this one I'm going to have to build a bridge, but if I do, I'll just come back with a few boards and put one in. All right, coming along here. This is where I've been working the past couple days. Right here is where I've been working today. Here's a uh, target T-post ready to be installed. target that's ready in the T-post pounder. This is new trail. And here's the rest of the trail. Getting close to the end. I think I can get this done in the next couple of weeks, provided the weather's not too bad. Straight along here, and there's the shooting house, so there won't be any targets down this way. And just pop back out onto the range right here. The trail measures two tenths of a mile. I think that's going to work out perfect. Can't wait till it's done. If y'all have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And I really appreciate you watching.